All right, let's go ahead and get started getting this uh, wheel bearing out of here and uh, replacing the spring. <clears throat> if your uh, wheel sounds like this, like a box of marbles, you probably need a new wheel bearing. The other thing to check for is any play. You can see this thing's got wheel play as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all that and uh, take some more videos we get through getting this wheel off. All right, first step is get this dust cap off. I generally take a pair of screwdrivers and gently hammer in at multiple angles and then take two of them in and pry them out. So that's how you get the dust cap off. This one's pretty gross, as expected. So the next thing is get the enough grease off of there that you can pull that cotter pin out and slide out the, uh, the nut. So the cotter pin's right here. It's hidden like they always are in the grease. Then pull that cotter pin out and then get that nut off and then you can pull the entire assembly off after that you're going to do some cleaning and then uh, pound out the uh, old races and the seal and put in new races in the new seal all right so we got the hub out just gently pull it off and next piece is take the uh, bearing out of the front it'll fall right out <clears throat> next piece is pull this seal out and then pull the bearing out then do a lot of cleanup and get this nasty grease off and um, and then the next piece will be uh, I'll showing you is uh, putting new races back in. All right, so what you can do is you can see the inside of the race once all the old grease is taken out. The races are these things right here. They're basically these things that the bearings ride on. The reason you replace them generally on uh, you know boat trailers, anything that hits the water, is these get scarred and basically don't run smooth, and that's the reason it sounds like a box of rocks whenever your wheel's turning or you hear a grinding sound. Uh, that grinding sound will uh, turn into a, probably more of a scream and at some point you'll have a bearing failure and it's generally in, when it's raining outside and it's the most inconvenient place to uh, have a breakdown. So good preventative maintenance. Uh, if you haven't done it or you can't remember when you've done it, it's probably time. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pound out these races. The first one I'm gonna do is on the bottom. I use a vise obviously to hold this and then I go in here and I actually pound these out um, very carefully, not to scar uh, any of the inside of here. So I'll show you what the races look like once they're out, and then I'll show you the tools that I'm going to use to put them back in. They're generally uh, race drivers like this um, that you use. And then for the um, for the seal on the back, I have a similar tool, but it happens to be plastic, where I'll put a new seal in the top of here. So I'll show this all to you when I'm done. All right. All right, so after uh, quite a bit of uh, pounding to get these guys out, you know, and just like you put them in uh, very carefully, uh, you got to kind of be a little rough on taking them out. So uh, whenever you're hitting them from the back side, so these are the front sides that you see here, hit them from the back, you hit them like, you know, at a, more like a nine o'clock, a three o'clock and a six o'clock. And you kind of get them to kind of get them to shimmy out of out of their uh, out of their area. So. You'll see in here, they're out finally. Um, so the smaller one's on the outside, the larger one in this particular case is on the inside. So what we'll do is go ahead and clean all this up, make sure they are good to go. And then um, we'll install new bearing races, similar to this one um, on the inside. So, and on the outside, gently put them in. Um, in this case, you cannot be rough with it. You have to make sure you don't score any of the things. Make sure you have the right tools if you don't. You're not getting them back. You're not getting them back in evenly. Take your time. There is a really no rush at all getting these in. If you rush it, um, you will end up damaging the bearing races and then you get to start all over. So take your time. I'm going to put the two bearing races back in, clean it up, <clears throat> and then show you, you know, it with a new seal and you know, off we go. All right. So I've got both new bearing races installed. You'll see the one in the back. It's the larger one. Um, next step is to uh, grease the bearings, both of them, and then uh, insert the new seal. So in this case, it you know, there's a new seal that gets put in. This new seal goes over here. So what you'll do is you'll see the bearing will enter like this, and then you'll see the seal put in on top of it. So that's ideally what you're doing here. Once you're done with that, it's a uh, reassemble. So, you know, there's 100 different ways to grease a bearing. We'll go ahead and uh, use one method that I use all the time, and off we go. All right, after a couple choice words and, uh, you know, some patience, uh, the seal is sealed. You'll see it's completely flat. That's the whole goal here. 
Um, the other thing that you want to do is make sure you grease the inside of the lip of the seal so that it'll gently slide on and not tear as you're putting it on because if it tears then you've done all this for nothing and then you can pull the seal out again and do it again so and more than likely you don't have spares laying around so again take your time putting these seals in they're kind of frustrating but you know you'll get them in there eventually all right so the next step here is uh to make sure that you lubricate you know all the surfaces where the hub rides on so make sure you lubricate where the uh, seal is um, just go ahead and lubricate this all make sure this is clean i'll clean this off put a uh, new uh, grease on it and then i'll slide the hub back on and then it's really reassembled okay so basically you slide the you know hub assembly back on very gently you spin it uh, and tighten the bearing until you know it's snug but not too terrible and then you back it off a little bit uh, and then you put in your cotter pin so at this point i'll put in the cotter pin uh, make sure I bend that properly and make sure it's seated. And then I am going to finish it off with a bearing buddy. And that's how uh, you replace the leaf spring and also the wheel bearing on a Triton uh, tandem jet ski trailer. All right, so put the bearing buddy in, got everything adjusted, and let's listen to it, see if it sounds like a box of rocks. Oh, all right, let's check the play. Got very little play, which is what we want. And that's how you install a set of springs, a new set of bearings, and a bearing buddy to top it all off.